All right, I'm standing here with Yusuf Mwanza. You taking on Sean Potri tomorrow in the heavyweight division. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, firstly, I want to thank the Almighty to save us, to give us a life until now. And then I want to thank Yanni Ablé to make this event happen. And I would like also to thank my sponsorship. I would like to call, uh, to thank my, my team as well uh, and my promoter. So uh, I'm really I'm really ready. I'm really ready for this this event. I'm really ready for Sean Potter. Yeah, uh, I just hear what he, what he was telling me that welcome back to the heavyweight. So me, I don't I don't I don't care about. Uh, uh, to welcome me on heavyweight because I know the heavyweights are always par with the heavyweight guys. So the heavyweight for me is like my division. Uh, is my division because my last fight I fought uh, uh, light heavyweight. So it was very hard for me to, to make it. So and cruiserweight is difficult for me to get a fight, to get an opponent. But heavyweight for me, I'm, I'm, I'm feel comfortable for it, so I want to just uh, tell Sean Potter, I'm ready. I'm ready to make it happen. Alright, what type of a fight do you anticipate? Do you anticipate a difficult fight? Uh, which? A difficult fight, do you think? Do you think it would be a hard fight? No, I'm ready. I'm ready for the fight. I prepare for it. I prepare for it. Uh, Sean Potter, who have been learning about him, is a heavyweight. Uh, the way that he say that uh, heavyweight got a hard punch. So I prepare for it. To take a hard punch is not uh, is not something that I, I will be scared of on it because I do it on sparring. I prepare for it. I know what I'm gonna do. So it doesn't matter for me. Let's talk about the preparations because it's been short notice uh, for both of you. Um, are you ready 100%? Uh, what I wanted to say, uh, firstly, I'm a warrior. A warrior, you can't just sit down and then wait the day that the, you you get a call. Us, we always on top. We always ready. You can give me a fight even for one week, even for three days or one days. I'm always ready for the fight. Okay, so we'll say safely that you will be 100% when you get in the ring. How's your predictions? Are you predicting a points win, knockouts? What's what's what you're looking at? Yeah, what I wanted to say about boxing, boxing, uh, we don't think about knocking someone out. We just think about make it happen because we prepare for it. If a knockout come, it can come. But the way that I prepare my fight, I prepare eight round because they give me eight round of fight. So I have to make all the run, every, every each and run. I have to make it, I have to make the point, I have to win every each and, each and run. So if the knockout come, yeah, it can come, but I know the knock, if the knockout come, it will, it will be on my side because I'm gonna be the one, if he's knockout, I'm gonna be the one who will knock him out. Let's talk about size in the fight. You, he's gonna be a bit taller than you. Uh, how do you beat him? Yeah, yeah, about size, so I prepare for it. And size, it doesn't fight. Size, it doesn't fight. Maybe you can be told or you can be shot. He doesn't fight. It's about technique. It's about what you know, what you can do. Yeah, it's about that. It's not about size. Because me, all my, when I prepare the fight, every sparring that I do, I always do it with the heavyweight. I always do it with the heavyweight. I don't do it with my weight. I do with the heavyweight, and then I do with the smaller weight than me. So the smaller weight, they give me just speed, and then the heavyweight, they give me power. That's what I'm prepared for it. How's the training been at the Corner Boxing Club with Bobo? Has it uh, been developing your boxing skills? Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm really happy training with my coach Bobo because uh, we always getting something new. Every day, every ten day when we training, we get something new. We prepare and then my coach, my team, all, all of them, they are behind me and then they support me and then they give something up with what I know about boxing. 
Right, do you have a last message before, for Sean before you step in the ring with him? Yeah, my last message for Sean Potter is just, my name is El Terrible, and then I'm ready to make this event. I'm ready to make this happen, and then I know you are also a boxer. I respect you, but let's make it happen, and then I'm ready for you. Thank you. Okay, and any, any thank yous or shout outs for anybody lastly? Yeah, I want to thank my family. I, I thank my wife. I thank my family. Uh, they are watching me from far. I thank my, my friend. I thank my coach. I thank my, my promoter. Uh, I want to thank also Mr. Bradley Godblood, the one that is always behind me. He look after me. He take care of me. So I want to thank him. God bless him and his family.